This is the DVD streamer Boogie Woogie 1993. Hope your account gets banned, asshole. And he was just perma banned off of Twitch. Yeah, my Twitch was banned. Uh, for some bullshit reason. We're gonna take a deep dive into why. From reporting and trash talking every teammate. Yep, and he's gonna get reported. Love when I have fucking idiotic teammates that can't fucking gen rush. To reporting every killer he faces. There was a hack in that chainsaw. To typing slurs to other streamers while live on Twitch. Why is this guy being a, a fucking fag? Ah! Let's review some of his matches to get a better idea on why Twitch decided to ban him for a fourth time and why they made sure this one was permanent. Fuck him, and I'm gonna expose him for how, who they really are. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Oh, of course, I get fucking stuck on something. Not even near a fucking gen, and how does he know I'm here? So he goes down against a Bubba on RPD. He's running the, the real strong build, as you can see. He starts to insinuate that perhaps the Bubba's stream sniping. You'll, you'll notice very quickly this is a common theme in all of his uh, all his matches, especially the ones he loses. The only possible way for him to lose is, of course, to uh, have stream snipers. Okay, we should not be losing this easily for a fucking Bubba. He starts to berate his teammates for going down when he was <laughs> when he was the first person to go down. You know, Boogie's talking about his own gameplay here. I guess I don't know. Okay, that is a cheat right there. There's no way your chainsaw can go that far. That far. No, I am not going against this cheating son of a bitch. So the Bubba obviously has double eerie add-ons. That's um, if you guys don't know what those are. And Bubba basically all his three charges are turned into one charge, and with the other eerie add-on, his charges replenish when he gets it down. His chainsaw. So he got it down with his first charge, and then he uh, he also had forced hesitation and that slows mr boogie over here he's played the game enough to know what the add-ons do but he, he's adamant that this guy's cheating anyways there's one thing to be ignorant of certain things and it's one other thing to acknowledge them but still ignore <laughs> to ignore what's obviously going on in the situation he does this a lot though by the way Yeah, so he reports him, cheats with chainsaw, goes way too far in a single chain sweep. He he really loves to type. This guy. Boogie really loves to type. Constantly, constantly typing. I know he ha he probably has those add-ons, but I know for a fact it does not go that far. I've tried that. He started at the doorway leading outside. No way in hell a chainsaw can go all the way to the fucking lobby. It's just not possible. Well, the Bubba's dead to rights. Boogie's got him got him right where he wants him that's irrefutable evidence his evidence is it doesn't do that for me so he leaves a, a nice little uh, minus rep on his profile he does that all the time he's one of those types you know one of those types I can't believe the game is lasting this long with this cheating motherfucker well of course useless head-on useless detectives hunch useless inner strength useless decisive useless balance You'll notice very quickly that Boogie is not, uh, he shares the love, or the shares the hate, moreover, of who he trash talks. He'll trash talk all his teammates, he'll trash talk the killer, he'll trash talk his view, like, he, he just doesn't care. He hates his, he hates his viewers, he hates, <laughs> hates his teammates, hates the killer. Absolutely just, pretty much any perk you could possibly run as survivor if you're his teammate, he's just gonna yell at you for it. Like, everyone in this team... They have very normal builds, meta builds, but that doesn't matter. He's he's still going to talk shit. The dude with calm spirit, aftercare, and distortion is talking shit about other people's perks. This guy is the uh, epitome of what an immersed immersed gamer looks like. I disagree. There is, a, there is a hack in that chainsaw. Because I know a chainsaw sweep does not go that far. Even with forced hesitation, a chainsaw doesn't... 
I'm, Maria, I'm telling you right now, that chainsaw does not go that far. Even with the best add-ons, I know for a fact, you never go that far. So his, his duo partner's trying to tell him in his chat, like, hey, that's like very normal with the perks he was running and the add-ons. He's adamant. He, he knows. He knows something's up. He's going to make sure this Bubba's banned. This is why behavior doesn't pay attention to reports, by the way. It's because of people like this. If people like this are getting getting to report people, like, how, how can you tell which ones are actual legitimate reports for cheating? But yeah, he does a lot of typing. You guys can pause here if you want to read a bit more on what he's typing. Half his stream time is usually just him in, in end game chats waiting for the game to end. Sometimes he, he sits in lobbies for like a good 10 minutes for the game to end to just call everyone bad and dog shit and blurs as well. We'll see that later on. Uh, <laughs> he's not uh, the type to shy away from using slurs, but as you can see, the Bubba's build is very normal. There's no way it replenishes during a duration. It never works for me. It only replenishes instantly after I finish the sweep. Not during the sweep. I don't even know what he's talking about at this point. It, it, it doesn't work for him, so it can't work for anyone else. I feel like that's definitely a skill issue. and He definitely just has never used those add-ons in that build before. Because it 100% it, it works. I've seen a lot of people use that build before. It's doing what it's, what it's meant to be doing. Ooh, yeah. Go figure. Fix the first gen by myself. He's basically the type that if the game lasts more than five minutes, if everyone's not instantly, constantly on a gen, he just discards all his teammates as bots and trash cans, basically. If everyone doesn't have a gen icon right next to their name, even when, when they're in chase, I'm sure. <laughs> even if they're getting in chase, he's probably expecting them to be doing gens. If you're on this guy's team and you're not constantly on gens, you're dead to him. Boogie is not happy with you if you're not always on a gen. And why is nobody on gens? Uh, dude, do you see me with prove thyself? My matches can't be more than three minutes long. Hurry up. I got places to be. Paragraphs to type. Oh, great. You're gonna proxy camp. So the nemesis Gets a hook, right? Just walking around looking for people. Finds him, you know, of course. The immersed, the immersed gamer that Boogie is. Okay, that hit was not even fucking close. And you still continue to take a person hostage on the hook. He likes to call uh, being near a hook taking the game hostage for some reason. I'm not too sure that's how that works, but you know, he knows best, I guess. <laughs> All right, so they've done three gens. You know, his teammates are doing gens. I want to preface that. In most of his games, his teammates are doing gens. Like any normal solo queue game. I can understand solo queue can be really annoying in terms of the teammates you may be given. But at the same time, who cares, man? It's, <laughs> you're not playing some ranked mode. Like, if I lose, I lose. Whatever, man. He blames his teammates almost as much as he blames the killer when he loses. But yeah, they get three gens done. There's literally only two hook stages the entire match but he he still wants out you know he's looking for gens he's <laughs> he's got places to be paragraphs to type good old boogie get out of my way bitch damn yeah get out of his way he's got he's got gens to do come on okay is anybody gonna go get her who did they not see claire on the hook wow you're literally just gonna let claire die on the hook there nia good job good fucking job Generally for situations like that in solo queue, it is rough, but he's also extremely far away doing a gen while he's the only one who hasn't been hooked. It's hard to tell what the situation near the hook was. I'm pretty sure just because this nemesis has no hooks and almost all the gens are done, he's proxy camping to create pressure. So the fact that they're both injured, one of them was getting chased. I'm like 90% sure that the nemesis is hugging hook to secure kill. In, in that situation, I do the same thing as nemesis because there's one gen remaining, you know, he has to at least secure some hook stages. So he's going to stick near hook. Boogie's the only one that's not injured. He hasn't been hooked once. He doesn't, he's not infected, nothing. He's still sticking out a gen, you know, and that's just unlucky in that sense. If, if the nemesis is hugging the hook, playing for trades or something like that, which they can't even really do realistically. 
because they're both injured. It's an indoor map. They need someone who is healthy like Boogie here. Obviously, he doesn't know that. I'm like 90% sure that's what's happening right now. And that's why she died on hook. But no, it, it's the teammate's fault, of course. And Nemesis for uh, being a toxic hostage taker. I don't think that's what hostage taking is, but all, all more power to Boogie. You're really fucking proxy camping. He is definitely doing that. He is proxying to secure another kill because you guys have been pumping out gens and he is extremely far behind. I don't get the hate towards killers that are playing to win. I can understand saying it's maybe a bit try hard, sure. You can also say the same for survivors who, like him, like to pump out gens in three minutes. But like, he's just playing the game. The <laughs> is just playing the game, man. Just chill out. Quit taking the game fucking hostage. Again, he's not taking the game hostage. If anything, he's doing the opposite by killing you guys. Taking the game hostage means he's purposely uh, patrolling gens, making sure no one can do the objective. He is not doing that at all. Wasting time with a fucking light. Got three more idiots on, on the team. Yeah, three more idiots, but not him. He's he's a smart one. He goes pretty much instantly down in all his chases. But no, they're the idiots. Oh, that's just that's just fucking genius right there, dumbass. Can't loop for shit. Can't gen rush for shit. Why the hell do you even play this game? Yeah, if you, if you can't loop or you can't gen rush, there's not even a reason to play Survivor. If my games aren't three minutes long, you're useless to me. It's interesting to see because. Usually for streamers like this, they're usually just toxic to one side. You know, like leave their teammates alone generally. But not Boogie. Boogie, no one is safe in his lobby. If you are his teammate, you're going to get flamed and called dog shit. If you're the killer, you're going to get reported and be called a hostage taker. Or whatever that means. Now he's going to take the game hostage. Yep, he's taking the fucking game hostage, which I'm going to report too. So he slugs, and he finds him. It's a bit suspicious how he found him, but at the same time, man, you just gotta deal with this shit when you're streaming. There's so many times where I'm just playing normally, and I get found in the most random corner of the map by the killer. I don't say, hey, stream sniping, because I don't know. There's many ways to find people in this game. Luck itself, you know, just calling out stream sniping is just, it's just weird, man. As a streamer myself, like, you just don't know at the end of the day. You don't know for sure. But you know the calm spirit distortion gamer is going to be rather upset if he's found once during the match. That's a guarantee. And of course he calls out the match being taken hostage again. Because, you know, he's slugging for the 4k. God forbid. <laughs> yeah, of course he's not close enough. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not playing this game if he's not going to play the fucking game fair. He was playing the game, man. <laughs> he, was, he literally just hit you with his ability. He's like, oh, he did get stunned by the pallet. I'm DCing. Like, Boogie's like five. I swear to God, this man is a five-year-old. Useless buckle up. Useless we're going to live forever. Useless desperate measures. Useless off the record. Useless lightweight. Now, I, oh, now, yeah. You, and then he's stream sniping. Of course he is. Well, uh, you're going to get fucking reported, asshole. So he gives the nemesis a good old report because, you know, that's definitely worked for him in the past. He continues to rag on his teammates for their builds. Their builds are really normal. I have never heard someone say useless off the record. That is something I have never heard before. The nemesis comes into the chat to ask, like, why'd you DC or whatever? He just takes that as a sign of, you know, instant stream sniping. If he's in my stream, guaranteed to be stream sniping. I may have TTV in my name, but you guys can't come into my chats asking questions. That's forbidden. This motherfucker has no ed. Get the fuck out of here. So he waits out the game, as always. That's what he always does when he wants to leave a, a beautiful message. Nemesis with no ed. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, useless hope, useless wake up. I'm not going to linger too much on what he's typing, whatever. If you're really curious, just go back and pause, whatever. Because, again, he is in in the chat typing and talking shit for, like, 
50% of his stream time, so I don't want this entire video to just be, be me reading out him saying nice things in endgame chats. He's talking shit to his teammates, he's talking shit to the killer. Of course, I, I suffer a 15 minute penalty because of a killer that has to cheat and stream snipe, take the game hostage, and I have to suffer with three idiotic teammates again who do not know how to play the fucking game. So he takes a 15 minute DC timer. So he DCs, he, he DCs pretty often. Rage quits. Typical boogie stuff of calling everyone dog shit and stream snipers and all that beautiful stuff you'd like to see the instant you join someone's stream. Real wholesome stuff. All he said was really bro is immediately after I DC. So he was stream sniping. The motherfucker was stream sniping. So I reported his Twitch account for cheating. Oh my god. Okay, well, he reports the, the Nemesis's Twitch account, because, you know, that's gonna do something. What? I have never heard someone actually go... He goes out of his way to make himself look like an idiot. Again, at the end of the day, if the Nemesis is stream sniping or not, who cares, man? You're, at the end of the day, you're the one who put TTV in your name. Like, just get over yourself, man. Most streamers just get up about that kind of stuff. If it's a bit obvious, they may slightly acknowledge it, but at the same time, they're not, like, going out of their way to report them on Twitch, of all things, for stream sniping, quote-unquote. And he also slugged to take the game hostage for a desperate 4K and a killer side of game. Well, the killer's dead to rights if that happens. Oh, God, the killer side of game as well. I'm just like, behavior needs to fucking address the issue. Like I say, like, if... If you don't pick up the other survivor out of, of, of one of the last two survivors within 15 seconds, if you don't do that, you should be penalized. In fact, Eric, you should be DC'd because you're dragging the game out longer than it needs to be. Yeah. Yeah, Boogie, you tell them. You tell these devs how to do their jobs. It's not like survivors have certain perks that counter slugging or anything like that. No, 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 no. The killer should be DC'd. Yeah. You tell them, Boogie, you tell them. This is why the devs don't listen to us. Again, like... People like this are the ones that are the most vocal about changes, but they have no idea what the hell they're talking about. So he's in a Chucky game now. It's that nice little slam of the pallet. Let's see how this match plays out. Fastball. <laughs> I love how he just proves the stereotype right every time he plays. He's sitting on gens constantly, or he's crouching behind boulders or trees, just terrified of the killer. I'm glad he really reinforces that distortion stereotype. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, stop fucking standing around. Yeah. Wasting time with a fucking flashlight when you should be jet rushing. He goes down pretty fast. His chases are not long. He gets upset at his Steve as well. His, his buddy Steve for trying to go for flashlight saves because he went down. You know, you should be gen rushing. What are you doing trying to save me? You shouldn't be crouching around as well because, you know, I don't do that. I don't crouch around and stick near killers without touching a gen. God, this Steve's so toxic. I'm going to report him after the match. Now you're gonna proxy camp? So yes, the Chucky is going to proxy camp. He caught the Meg out trying to go for save, so of course he's gonna kill her. Again, he has uh, three hooks in total, and there are two gens left. So, it's not looking good for the Chucky. He does play killer, but I don't think he understands what creating pressure is for the killer side. Definitely knows what it is for survivors, because, you know, he talks about gens every three seconds, but plugging and coming back to hooks, that's forbidden. You should get perma banned. Now he's slugging and taking the game hostage. Slugging and taking the game hostage. Yeah, Boogie, are you gonna report him? Report his Twitch account as well. Okay, that's a fucking cheat right there. Yeah, that's a cheat. You tell him, Boogie. That's a damn cheat right there. Him using his ability, he's not allowed to do that. What the hell? Yeah, I love the fucking stream sniping. Yeah, like, I'm not even close to a fucking gen. 
and they're still not on fucking gens. Well, it's confirmed. Chucky's stream sniping. It's the only way he could have he could have heard you, could have seen you. You already know this. Chucky's gonna get a a paragraph, multiple paragraphs from Mr. Boogie over here. And two of his teammates were healing, so they're preoccupied. One of them was looking for Jen, which you'll see she is proceeding to repair. As Mr. Boogie over here is doing nothing, wasting time on boons. Still, nobody's on Jen's. Okay, why are you going after me? Yeah, Chucky, why are you going after him? He's the streamer. You have to go for him last. Don't you know that's part of the rule book? Go after my other teammates so I can call them dog shit. If I die first, then it looks like it's my fault. Wow, well, look, they're doing gens. It's shocking that his teammates are actually doing a generator. It's almost like he acts like he does all five generators every single match. Oh my god, go for the fucking gen! <laughs> I think the reason he thinks he's on gens way more than his teammates is because he plays like this. Super immersed mode with distortion and calm spirit. So he avoids chases most of the time, except when he doesn't, then it's stream sniping or, you know, an assortment of other excuses on why he's being chased. He's either he's either crouching somewhere or he is doing a gen. That is his entire game plan going into a match. Uh, and they keep running to the fucking totem to heal. Wasting time when they should be gen rushing. I'm pretty sure that's what the totem is for. It is called Boon Circle of Healing for a reason. <laughs> It's not called Boone's Circle of uh, Gen Rush. That's you already know that this guy would absolutely run a perk like Boone's Circle of Gen Rush or something where like if you put a boon down, the, the generators in the vicinity go like 5% faster or something for repairing. He would run that shit instantly. This guy loves generators. I mean, I don't blame him if his chases last like five seconds. You know, of course he's gonna do gens, cause what else is there to do if his, his chase is last five seconds? I don't have time for this. Oh, of course I get caught. Ah! Oh, fucking lock. Love favoritism. Let's see, useless, uh, let's see here, useless sprint burst. Yeah, useless flip flop, useless boil over. So I wanted to leave that entire chase in just so you get a better understanding of how long, how long his loops are, how, how good he is at looping the killer and, and keeping the killer distracted while his team does gens. And as you can see, it's, uh, it leaves a lot to be desired, especially on one of the strongest loops in the game. That is, uh, Shaq. It brings up, like, player targeting. He's only going for me, which, obviously, if you're looking at the at the match, it, uh, that doesn't happen at all. Not in the slightest. But you know he's going to report for it, of course. I just want to read this out for you guys. Only goes for me because I'm a streamer. Complete favoritism ignores the others who were also on death hook. Like, if this guy dies before you, it is... It, before his teammates, it is completely always favoritism. He's just wishing death on his teammates. Sounds like fucked up, man. Gotta leave a minus rep on the profile, of course, of course. Can't have uh, the full package being a toxic streamer if you don't leave minus reps for the killers doing absolutely nothing wrong. Of course, pause if you require some time to read what he's written. Oh my god, he has Remember Me and No Way Out. So he waits out the entire match again to leave his beautiful little uh, delusional takes into the chat. Didn't know Remember Me, No Way Out was a scary perk combo, but I guess for this guy it is. It's a useless troubleshooter. Like, they kept fucking going back there and healing when they should have been gen rushing. It's not that fucking hard to gen rush when you know who's getting chased. Dumbass teammates. So he's like eating his mic. 
at the end of the match just complaining about his teammates bringing actual meta like he has meta meta bringing teammates <laughs> like Glythe and windows and all this other stuff this is like just very normal stuff that no one would think about this guy this <laughs> his teammates are really trolling him now and where the hell And of course, he's the type to just crouch beside a uh, a pallet waiting for the killer. Because, you know, <laughs> as we saw before, him him actually looping someone is not not preferable for his skill set. He's much better at doing what he does best, gen rushing. Oh, you're a weak little bitch if you need Scorch Hook and a Wesker. I'm pretty sure Scourge Hook is like the most used killer perk, so I don't understand what in God's name he's talking about. <laughs> oh my God. So you actually I like how he knew to... exactly where I was. I mean, you could read this guy like a book. He's like an actual like AI that just follows a, a certain set of patterns. You just know watching the clip that he was going to complain about stream sniping there somehow. That corner is such a bad place to hide because killers always check it. I always check the shower there. It's such a common spot for survivors to hide if they're lazy instead of going into a locker. But no, it is uh, stream sniping, of course. How could he know? How could he have known I was there? Okay, Frank, uh, Bill, how about you actually fucking go on a gen instead of wasting your time? And he's still standing there like a douche. Okay, that was a cheat right there, too. And he's still standing there like a fucking dumbass. So Wesker hits him with that beautiful wall bounce. That was big ups to, to Wesker. That's a very difficult thing to pull off. Boogie doesn't think so, though. Boogie is not very pleased. This Wesker's exploiting and cheating. Oh my god. He keeps complaining about the bill. The bill isn't doing gens, but you'll you'll understand at the end of the match why he's not doing gens. He has a very specific build that doesn't really encourage him to do gens, but to do another objective, you will see later. Oh, I love the fucking tunneling, asshole. They all have one hook stage. He's doing the exact opposite of tunneling. <laughs> Look at Bill. He's healing him. Do you think he's going to be grateful at the end of the match that the Bill is helping his team out? Me thinks not. I've yet to see uh, Bill touch a gen. Oh, great. And here he goes again, not doing a fucking thing. He's not doing fucking anything. I'm about to report his, his useless ass. Boogie, you're not doing much else, man. Your chases aren't lasting long either. <laughs> Half the time you're just walking around. You're not even on a gen, even though you keep <laughs> advocating for people to do gens. What do you think his uh, end points will be? He just thinks that the entire match is like dedicated by the objective, the objective points. There's like three other categories besides objectives. He just has zeros in all of them. Except objective. He has full objective then. Well, I'm dealing with dumbasses right now, uh, Princess, since Bill doesn't know uh, what a gen is. Bill just completed a gen, but, you know, that's just what, what we call ironic timing. That's just ironic. Being a fucking liability. Yes, would you please get fucking Bill who doesn't do a fucking thing? Yeah, you gotta love that. Oh, here we go, playing favoritism. Playing fucking favoritism. Here he goes with favoritism again. The instant he's chased off a gen or anything like that happens, he's in a chase at all. He, he just goes straight to favoritism. It has to be. With my perks set, I should be able to do all the gens without ever getting in chase once. What the hell, man? Love the favoritism, asshole. You're going to get reported. And nobody's on gens when they're not being chased. He's literally not being chased anymore. And he's not on a gen. Boogie, are you, are you trolling the match? What the hell is wrong with you, Boogie? Trolling the match. I think this Bill's going to report you, man. <laughs> okay, that's a 
cheat right there. He's starting to sound like Joe. Just constantly calling cheats and hacks when it's just very normal gameplay. Yep, and he's gonna get reported. Love when I have fucking idiotic teammates that can't fucking gen rush. Yeah, what good are you as a teammate of Mr. Boogie over here if you can't gen rush? He says that as his teammates are finishing the last gen. Then of course he's calling cheats again because, you know, it's impossible to down this guy unless you're using a third party software. Useless fucking teammate. Of course, he has four useless perks. He has useless breakup, uh, breakdown, sabo, and background player. So the bill is running a uh, sabo, sabo build, obviously. Those, these are all very common sabo perks to run. He has a sabo toolbox. As I said before, if you're not doing gens, if you're not doing the one fourth of the, the total points that you'll get, that's why he doesn't get that many points in most of his matches. Because he just does gens, the chases are bad. He doesn't, you know, go for boons or totems or healing. He doesn't do any of that. He wants gens. He runs this build every game, no matter what. Just the invisible, crouching, the most boring possible survivor builds, in my opinion. This is such a boring, just disgustingly boring build for a survivor to pick. But now he's going to tell everyone to report the bill for trying to save his teammates. Two of them made it out, by the way. So, you know, at least the build is doing something right, but... He does not think so. Yeah, so there there goes the bill report, of course. So he leaves a minus rep, of course, on it on the bill's Steam profile. The funny thing is, literally all <laughs> of the go comments that Bill has on his team profile are the most wholesome, nice, like, this Bill is amazing, he saved me so many times, you sir Bill saved saved us in endgame, you know, but uh, Boogie is not impressed though, Boogie has a higher standard, his standard is uh, something that takes a minute 45 seconds, and there are five of them, that is his standard for having a good teammate, but yeah, I just find it so funny that the dichotomy of this player just being pissed off at this bill. This bill's terrible. Oh my god. Boogie has had enough. To everyone else, all his other teammates just absolutely love this bill. It's it's just so funny. He has such a completely backwards mindset to this game. First useless overcome, useless inner strength, useless resilience. It's like what like you're a P one hundred and you stand around and do fucking nothing. Yeah, he really loves to just call all of his teammates perks useless. He has such a greedy, self-centered build. It's such a ratty way to play. He's, he doesn't have perks that allow him to get to his teammates faster to help him. He just has one idea, and that is just gens. He has no... He has proved himself in aftercare, but even that, that's more of a greedy thing for him so he can do gens faster. It's, it's not a team a team-based thing for him. He's not running those perks to help his team. He's running them so he can get people to do gens faster for him. Now you missed it earlier. Uh, we went against a Wesker on the game map and this P100 Bill uh, did not know what the fuck a gen is. He kept standing around doing fucking nothing. He did great in chases, but he didn't, t t he hardly touched a gen at all. Even though he clearly saw my arrow, my aura with aftercare and he just Fucking did nothing. And, and of course, he escapes when the Wesker should have killed his ass for being a fucking liability. He calls the bill a liability. He says, yeah, he did great in chase, but he didn't go to the gens that I was at. How dare you? He's so unaware of his own situation and how other people probably see how he plays. He's like, I play perfectly every match, but my teammates are always holding me back. And you don't know, maybe the bill had a sabo, a sabo daily or something. Behavior pushes all these challenges and tomes and stuff to do certain builds. Bill probably just had that. I'll be completely honest. He, he needs a sabo a certain amount of hooks. So he's doing that. He's saboing hooks for his team and he's getting chased. He was a juicer. He, a lot of that, a lot of that match was him getting chased by Wesker and juicing him. Good on you, Bill. Most people would say, but not this guy. Boogie is not impressed yet again. Uh, especially that R word, uh, Bill. Like, he had breakdown, break out, um, background player, and, uh, Sabo, okay? Just because you have those four perks does not mean you can help finish a gen, for Christ's sake. 
And if you guys have forgotten, because it was a while a while back into that match, he does do gens. Pretty sure he finished two in that match, even with his full Sabo build. Usually Sabo players kind of just follow the chase. They're either getting chased or they're following the chase to get to get value from their perks and their item. That makes sense, right? It's like a flashlight player. They don't they do gen sometimes, but a lot of the time they're following the chase so they get value from their perks. And it's a smart way to play. And <laughs> obviously the people in his matches that are leaving these positive comments know that. Everyone except Boogie. Boogie is, you know, he has one criteria for a good player. Did she literally just go into the basement? And tunnels Claudette at five gents. Oh, great. Thanks for throwing the game, Claude. You know, this is something that I'm sure if you play solo EQ, you can you can understand teammates just killing themselves or DCing, God forbid. Imagine DCing on your team. Boogie would never do that, though, especially at five gens. Oh, my God. But yeah, the killer's tunneling. So the Claudette kills herself on hook. They're almost done three gens already on the swamp. So I, I feel like that was needed, to be honest, because they are absolutely his team is absolutely pumping out gens, absolutely pumping them out. And continues to tunnel with a spirit in a killer side of game. Are you fucking kidding me? Using useless plot twist. He's gonna get found. See? What'd I tell you? Useless plot twist. So Mr. Cage is getting tunneled out now. Of course, Mr. Boogie on a gen. Doing God's work. The cage plot twists in the corner of the map. The spirit finds him. I don't know if the cage was in chase or if she had just lost him for a little bit. Whatever the case, she finds him. Picks him up. I would just find that's funny, but you know, Boogie takes the game really seriously. He can't be having his teammates just trying to have fun. They gotta do the gens and get out of the match in three minutes. That's what he finds fun, of course. Oh yeah. Yeah, go after me. Don't go after Neo. You can clearly see. What does that even mean? Go after the Dia. You can clearly see she's literally on the edge of the map. And you literally walked right into her. What are you waffling about, Boogie? Oh my god. Yeah, just keep focusing on me. Yeah, and they can't even fix audio cues correctly. Like, do I have to report every motherfucking killer until Behavior does something about the camp tunneling bullshit? So, you know, his, his amazing game prowess of his just <laughs> runs straight into... <laughs> the spirit. His chases last literally like five seconds. It's so sad to see. Now he's got to re he's got to report the spirit. She's tunneling. That's against the rules, as the devs have told multiple times over the course of the years. Absolutely against the rules. There's no perks that could possibly help you. They definitely didn't implement anti phase camp and anti tunnel shit already. If a killer wants you dead, they're gonna kill you. That's just how the game works, man. But no, he's gonna keep reporting every single killer until behavior does something. This man's got probably thousands upon thousands of false reports. Like, holy shoot. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you just kill yourself on first hook? Boogie, I kind of recall you uh, being mad at the Claudette for doing that. What the hell, man? You can't get mad at your teammates for doing that and then doing the same thing the instant you get hooked. Doesn't matter if it's five gens, if it's one gen. Just killing yourself on first... E Honestly, you're worse than the Claudette. At least the Claudette got hooked two times before she started killing herself. The uses vigil, uses resilience, uses flip-flop, plot twist, power struggle, kindred. This motherfucker has no way. Well, there you go. Another asshole killer to report. There you go. So, of course, he gets into another typing battle with the killer. Even though the killer is just playing the game normal. No, it is not normal. That is not normal at all. It's an exploit. It's an exploit that these dumbass developers keep failing time and time again, and that's why people keep leaving because uh, this game is going downhill fast.
So apparently tunneling now is an exploit, in his words. If you proxy camp or tunnel, you are exploiting the match and you should be permabanned. Like, are you serious, man? What in God's name are you talking about? Ironically, the guy that's talking about banning people and all this stuff, he's been, I think right now he's still, he's still banned. This is like his fourth ban on Twitch. He's been, he's been banned four times. This may be permanent. He may have a permanent ban because uh, he hasn't popped up in more than a week. His channel has just disappeared, so... His, his Twitch channel just may be entirely gone at this point because he's gotten four bans. And this, this is the guy that's telling people to uh, they're exploiting or you're going against the rules. Have some self-awareness, man. Well, the only flow uh, of this game is going down the shitter since one, they don't listen to community feedback. That's all bullshit. Two, they keep kill they keep kissing main killers' asses and making them more and more overpowered. As we've seen with the Blight and the Hillbilly. I wonder why they're not listening to your community feedback. If the feedback is what you're spouting. I wonder why. What are the chances that, that you think he hates facing Hillbillies? I am like 99% sure if he gets in a match with the new Hillbilly, he's just gonna start. He's gonna complain the entire time. Oh my god, Hillbilly's so boring to face. Like if you're that miserable playing the game, just don't play the game, man. Stop, just get off the game. Because there's no other game to play that one isn't political, two is pay to win, three is buggy as hell. There aren't that many games out there that are not one of those categories. It's not that political compared to Call of Duty, Apex, so he's he's about to go off on a I don't even know what to call it anti woke rant I guess which is odd because you know DVD has always been very supportive for the LGBTQ plus community right it makes me especially with the things he types at the end of the video it makes me think he doesn't uh, particularly like a certain group of people if you get my drift you'll you'll see what I'm uh, what I mean in a second my well, Minecraft's boring sorry it just is. How dare you call Minecraft boring? Minecraft's the most popular game of all time. How dare you? Minecraft's the GOAT. The only things I've seen with the LGBTQ community is the fucking symbol or the relic that you can put on the hook as a killer or survivor. I'm not sure about survivor. And like, it, it's not that strong compared to what I've seen in other games. Now, like The Last of Us Part 2, yeah, that was very political. Yeah, I don't know why he just randomly goes on this weird side tangent about political, you know, agendas and all this stuff. He, I'm not going to try to put words in his mouth about what he means by it, but it's just like you can kind of feel you feel a bit off when he's talking about it. If you you understand what I mean, especially with <laughs> with the things he types, uh, you know, he at the very least is not very fond of uh, gay people. <laughs> as you'll see but yeah it's just it's just like a weird side tangent he just randomly goes on about games being too political nowadays i don't know about the 10 plus pride flags but okay so maybe he he doesn't like the amount of pride flags <laughs> maybe maybe he's slightly uh you know one of those he thinks there's too many pride flags in the game okay let me rephrase that it is not as political as other games i've seen that are very political like apexes the Last of Us is part two. So to end off this weird side tangent of his, I just wanted to show this just because it was like kind of odd that he just randomly started talking about this stuff. He like basically just ends the conversation saying um, DVD is political, just not as political as some other games. His ending opinion about that, he doesn't really give. I'll leave that to your own imagination by the end of the video. You'll probably have... A pretty good idea of how he feels about it based off the wording that got him i'm pretty sure the wording he used against another streamer is what got him banned off twitch so but yeah that'll be later that will be later Ooh, yeah. of course go for me it's always me It's always him. It has to be him. He just wants to do gens, man. Why do you chase him? But you know, he insta tosses Shaq Pallet at five gens because it's very scary getting good chases with the killer. At least for him. He seems to be a Kate man. I'd really think he's like a Dwight main by the way he plays. Me as a Dwight man, like I can acknowledge the stereotype of us being terrified of everything and <laughs> just doing jeds. Like I can acknowledge that. I feel like Dwight would fit him better. I'm kinda happy he isn't, because that would give us Dwight mains a worse rep than we really have, but Oh, here we go again. Favoritism.
So we never truly lost Chase with her. She was just further back because she had to break Pally and probably just broke Chen or something. She was still chasing him. <laughs> still tracking him. But yes, it is favoritism because this is the first chase to the match and he's the first one to get chased. Dude, enough of the fucking favoritism. Yeah, I love the favoritism, yeah. motherfucker. Nice favoritism. Like, even when he pre-jumps all pallets and, you know, just plays so boring as a survivor, he still, his chases don't really last that long. Like, he pre-jumps every pallet or camps it. He doesn't attempt to really loop properly at all, which is fine, but you can't just then complain the second you go down, like, favoritism or cheating and stuff like that. It's just, it's just cringe, man. Are you fucking serious? Nah, he's taking the hostage. So Skull Merchant does the proper play there, which is drop. That is the proper play, because Bill is going for the save. You know, she has someone on her arms, so she drops him, but damn, that is taking the game hostage, of course. Can we stop bringing his sorry ass over here? Here we go with the favoritism again. Yeah. I'm not playing against this guy who's going to play favoritism. So the Skull Merchant goes for him because he's trying to hide in a corner where there is absolutely no pallets or loops because, you know, distortion brain. They don't really think about where they are on the map. So she drops Chase with the Fang to go for him. And in his eyes, that's favoritism. In my eyes, that's just her being smart. Killers can't be smart, of course. They're cheating. They're, uh, you know, overpowered. Anything but smart. I'm trying. Oh, great. She has useless plot twist. No, I'm going to get your ass up. You're not using that useless fucking perk. Dude, are you fucking serious? You're wasting a fucking perk. Just let me revive you, you dumb shit. Would you fucking let me revive you? You're using a useless perk. Okay, this Nimrod does not get it. So the knee of plot twists on the ground to fully heal. Plot twist honestly is not a bad perk. In my eyes it's funny but at the same time like especially if you use it in, with perks that help you recover faster on the ground it's, it's honestly really good but uh he tries to grief her by trying to pick her up so her perk doesn't activate again just being being a nuisance to his team and the killer at the same time constantly he's constantly complaining about everything and the fang obviously knows what he's trying to do so she moves on purpose so he can't finish the heal so she can actually use her perk like, that's gotta suck to be his teammate. You have to play against the killer and him at the same time. <sighs> Asshole. Asshole. I love the way he says that, man. Just camps pallets and just... It's so boring. I can't imagine playing this game like this. It's so insanely boring for both sides. Just camping a pallet and waiting for them. My like, God. Yeah, of course. And he's gonna get reported. Now he's slugging. How does he know he's there? How does he know he's there? <laughs> yep, slugging the killer side again. The skull merchant obviously saw the Jake while he was chasing her. But yeah, he leads him over to Jake. Which is a bit unlucky for the Jake, but at the same time, what can you do? Of course, he's gotta bring in some more stuff about killer sided game, blah blah blah. See, no killer should not be going this fast without iron grass and agitation. Detective Boogie over here. The killer is definitely not, doesn't even have agitation. That's just normal carry speed. But, you know, Boogie's on the case with these cheaters. Useless left behind. Useless plot twist. Useless off the record. So, of course, he's, he's going off on his teammates again. You know, it's their fault that he died. He needs gen rushing teammates, not these useless, useless teammates. So he's typing shit like favoritism, blah, 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 all that good stuff. Again, you guys can pause and read through it. I'm not going to read out all this absolute garbage that he just spouts every single match, but yeah, he's not very nice. Oh, don't play fucking dumb. Oh yeah, don't play dumb though. <laughs> uh, and then he's got to leave a, a minus rep on their profile, of course. Just one of those types, man. Like, God, so cringe, man. Guy's a fucking desperate little bitch. Yeah. Alright, let's see how intelligent these people are. 
I've never seen someone hate their teammates so much in this game. Like, I can understand in other games not liking your team. Like, when I'm playing League of Legends, I hate my teammates most of the time. But that's because it's a much more competitive, you know... DVD can be competitive, but a lot of the time you're playing with teammates that are all chilling on their couch with their controller, just trying to have fun. It, there's no ranked insane mode, you know, there's no elo on the line, but he has the balls to question their intelligence just because they're trying to have fun. It's a really terrible mindset. Okay, screw you, dude. About the favoritism, motherfucker. When you were chasing Nia. So the Wraith is playing hit and run with Sloppy. You're, you're gonna learn soon that he really does not vibe with the uh, hit and run play style. Uh, 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 uh. Of course, he has to come back and camp the hook. Uh. He has to come back and camp the hook, yeah. God forbid, he's, he's doing crimes against humanity. Man, that's the most normal Ray thing. I think everyone can agree. Ray's coming back to hook and slugging and camping. That's such a, <laughs> that's such a stereotypical Ray thing. I don't, I don't understand when people get mad at that. Like, yes, he's going for the guy that's injured that just got off hook. Boogie's like, you're going to die at hellfire for that. Do you know who I am? I have the power to report you to behavior. Your account's done for, bud. Okay, bullshit, there's no way you would've catch up to me that quick. And he just continues to slug and proxy camp at three gens. So he's, he's slugging, no one's on the ground. <laughs> you know, he's cheating, of course, because he, he got that hit with the um, uncloaking speed and lunge. This wraith is just dead to rights. Detective Boogie over here is on the case again. And tunnels Nia at three gens. I don't blame her for DC. I don't. Nia gets tunneled out. Hey man, that, that shit happens, dude. She DCs, which is, you know, understandable. I personally wouldn't, because I don't take this game as serious as my life, but I understand some people may. Yeah, go fuck yourself, dude. And there he goes. He's just gonna go back to the fucking hook. So he's, he's playing hit and run with Mangled and uh, Sloppy or whatever. Very normal Wraith thing to do. Wraith is horrendous in chases. His main game plan is usually when, I, when I'm facing him or playing him is you get get as many injuries as possible and uh, go to places where you can easily get downs from your cloak. So one of those places is usually by hooks. Hooks are a lot of the time are in the open. Uh, by the time they get the unhook and run a little bit, you've already uncloaked and you can easily trade or tunnel or whatever. Wraith is not particularly a good killer, so... For, for a lot of wraith players that's what they do and that's where the stereotype of tunneling and base camping for wraith players comes from is because of that place so it is a little bit try hard yes but at the same time he i'm sure i'm sure the t the team that this wraith is face faced up against it's not gonna play nice either especially this boogie guys <laughs> if the game was two minutes long he'd be happy and he'd probably trash talk the killer let's be completely honest so at least he's not taking the game hostage this time He lets the last guy die. He's super immersed mode, you know, average distortion gamer hiding in lockers. But yeah, he's he's about to get found by the Wraith. God forbid the Wraith has eyes. So he gets rather upset. Oh, yeah. And you're going to be a fucking douche to report. Yeah, see how you see how broken the hitbox is? That was like two fucking feet away. Yeah, he stream stripe. He sneeze. Yeah, he is st fucking stream sniping my ass. I'm getting sick and tired of these fucking effing douchebags that just cannot play the game fair. So the race doing a little bit of trolling, trolling the streamer. I this has happened to me multiple times while I've I've been live streaming. Just it's just good fun. He really takes it personally though. He's confirmed stream sniping, confirmed reported, confirmed cheater. Just lit, he's, he's checking off all the boxes for this guy. Why is this guy being a, a fucking fag? Ah. Whoa, Boogie, let's... <laughs> all right, well, there you, there you have it. That's, from what I surmise, is the reason that he got banned another time. He's saying uh, some slurs. He's not a happy gamer. Not a happy gamer. Ah. 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 
I don't know, because he's an, an FAG, he's a fag. Oh, he's doubling down again. Here we go. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's about to type it too, just you watch. Well, there he goes. <laughs> he's, he's typing it against another streamer, Mr. Toxic over here. The race name is uh, kind of fitting, but he's not quite as toxic as Mr. Boogie over here with the uh, homophobic slurs in the chat. I think this pretty much guarantees that the stuff he was talking about before about the, the flags is definitely a uh, negative connotation for him. He does not like anything to do with... Uh, non-straight people i i don't want to put words in his mouth but hey man he's typing that shit he's he's saying it in his live stream and he's typing it if you're gonna type it at least don't be live streaming i understand that you know especially a few years ago is very normal but even back then just straight up live streaming yourself is probably live streaming yourself saying it constantly probably not really supported on twitch definitely not now i i definitely not Put my uh ttv right in front of my uh my incriminating evidence that people can easily screenshot and report you for so not the smartest tool in the shed that's for sure oh is this motherfucker this motherfucker better not be live i swear to fucking god i'll report his fucking yeah here's this fucking douchebag so the other streamer is not live thank the god all hell would break loose if the other streamer was live but you already know that he's reporting he's reporting the other streamer on Twitch for whatever stream sniping or whatever, man. It's the same old thing every single match. It gets really tiring after a while. I guess I go against dipshits like this and I team up with, with people that can't fucking know how to play the game properly because they're using useless goddamn perks such as resilience and dead hard. Of course, he has to make jabs at his teammates. Yeah, you should call them slurs as well, man. Good on y'all, boogie. <laughs> Uh, this is my first time I've ever heard that resilience and dead hard is uh, useless. Maybe for him, because he always, <laughs> the first time he used dead hard, he just constantly missed it and didn't use it properly. He's like, this is a useless ass perk. I better go back to my distortion. Dead hard doesn't help me do gens. What the hell? And even if I, I'm using a useless perk, I still do fucking better. Wow, I would love to if these dumbasses would stop dragging my ass down with them. But then you got dickheads like that that have to proxy camp and tunnel people off hooks. They do not... The, these dumbass developers do not fucking uh, make the anti-camping mechanic strong enough. Yeah, he's giving advice to, uh, to the developers again after the shit he just typed. Like, how can you be so unself-aware of what you're doing, what you're saying, or what's actually happening? He's like typing this homophobic shit in chat and saying it out loud. And then he's like, why do the devs not listen to me, huh? I'm giving the good advice. I'm a good guy, man. I know what's good for this game. Well, they need to put penalties into the fucking game. Oh, shut the fuck up, you fucking useless piece of shit. You were proxy camping and tunneling the, uh... Yeah, go fuck yourself, dude. So, Mr. Wraith, the streamer, comes in. I can only assume that he's the one who reported Mr. Boogie over here, Twitch. Again, I was told that he's been banned off Twitch four times, so he is a repeat offender. I have no idea what other things he did to get banned off the site before, but that doesn't particularly surprise me at all. It's plainly obvious that the Wraith is just a troll. Like His name is Mr. Toxic, and he, he <laughs> tunnels people out and smacks them on. It's, it's so obvious, but he's just falling right for the bait. Hope you, your account gets banned asshole that's so ironic for him to say because at the end of the day his shit got banned and <laughs> your account's gonna get banned asshole and then and then just cuts to two days later and it's just his shit's gone yeah oh, that's too good says uh, i'm bad yet he has to proxy camp and tunnel people off hooks with a sweat belt he needs surge pain and sloppy on an overpowered wraith the overpowered wraith wraith is s tier I'd love to see this guy make a tier list for killers. Everyone's going to be an S tier. That's crazy, man. I just reported that Mr. Toxic douchebag for harassing me on stream. Oh, good on ya. Good on ya, Boogie. That, that was probably what, uh, to be honest, like a lot of people don't particularly care about using those kind of, you know, those kind of homophobic slurs because it's been normalized a lot on the internet. Trust me, I come from Rust and League of Legends and all these really toxic games. 
a lot of the people there, they type this shit or talk this shit. But I feel like him saying that he reported Mr. Toxic probably just got Toxic mad. So he reported him back. But he actually got banned for it. That would be funny. Again, it could it could it could have been either or it could have been him saying all the terrible slur shit or it could have been just a revenge report that actually resulted in something, you know, because you obviously you can't be saying this shit on Twitch live on your own free time, you know, be a terrible person if you want. But, you know, Twitch Twitch is good at cracking down on that kind of shit hate speech and all that right oh he was saying that like oh i suck yeah he was proxy camping and tunneling people off hooks with an overpowered wraith when he had surge scorch and sloppy not only that he's a fucking fag for hitting me on the hook like a fucking douchebag yeah at least he's spelling it out he's spelling out the uh, slur instead of uh <laughs> instead of just straight up saying it he did before but you know he's not just screaming hate speech constantly he has the, you know, mental capacity to at least spell it out. I don't think that particularly helped with his ban. But yeah, this was this was Boogie. I have no idea if he's going to return. Since this video was made, he is still uh, not on the platform. So four bans, especially on a smaller streamer, they don't really give you that many chances. So his account maybe just be permanently gone. Yeah, this guy's pretty crazy, pretty delusional. I feel like he's He's one of the most delusional streamers I've ever seen. Maybe behind Joe a little bit. Joe was a special, special kind of guy. Joe was also just kind of old and confused. I feel like this guy's like maliciously just angry at everything in the world. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, I will be live right when this video is released on Twitch. So you can come say hi there or give your opinions and whatnot about this. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Peace.